Welcome to Boomhauer 69's channel, and today I'm going to do kind of like a little update video about like our winter snow storm. A couple days ago we had a good nice kind of whiteout kind of conditions, a little bit of a, I, I, I'd say a mini blizzard type thing, and, and now here I am in Michigan, in my hometown, and after just two days of that, now it's 36 degrees out Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit, not Celsius. 36 Fahrenheit. And everything from that swash. And, and yesterday we had 40 degree weather. So that's how Michigan is, you know. One minute it's real snowy and crappy out. And then the next it's warm and sunny practically. That's why if you're... Ever type in Michigan weather jokes, you see all these jokes about about Michigan having winter, winter, spring, and summer all in the same day and stuff. Where you'll see one where jokes about people one minute being in t-shirts and the shorts, next minute they're in a winter snowsuit and stuff. Because that's how Michigan is. Michigan is one of those states that the weather changes all the time, you know, even in the spring and summer, you know. So that's, and now we just got the wet slotchy stuff. They are talking later on, I think today, later on, and, and into tomorrow, have some freezing rain, but usually it's not freezing rain. It's not, when they talk about freezing rain, it's not that bad, you know. And it could be, I, I don't know, you know, we could have some really slippery, but... If the temperature drops real cold, because everything is right now, it's 36 out, yesterday it was 40, so a lot of the snow and snow we got and stuff is starting to melt, and, and even though they said the groundhog seen its shadow six more weeks of winter, I think it is, um, I think what's going to happen is I think we might get a little bit more of an early spring, but then again, we could also... I could also think that, and then we get really bad smash with snow. Like I've always used to say, winter doesn't go go away without a big bang kind of thing, where you get a good, huge dumping of snow and makes you think, you know, why in the world am I living in in this state for, you know? And that that happens a a lot in this state. I'm just walking around getting some exercise. So, yeah, I'm just walking around my street and stuff. And for those of you who kind of like, man, you should do like a blog video about your small town and stuff. Well, the thing is, is my small town is just like any typical go American small town. There ain't nothing much. You got a, you got a dollar store for your grocery store and a, and a few gas stations and, and a couple of restaurants. And that's about it. You know, nothing. There's nothing too nothing really exciting so yeah and i do apologize for the camera lighting because i don't have any fancy lights or anything hooked up to my tablet or anything and i'm using the front camera which on this tablet doesn't have any lights whatsoever but yeah my town is just your typical small american town there ain't like business wise nothing really fancy i guess the only thing is, is since Michigan legalized marijuana, we do have a, a marijuana dispensary type place in our town since Michigan now legalized smoking marijuana, you know, which I don't care to do smoke marijuana. I'm not into that stuff. It just don't, that stuff just don't tickle my fancy or whatever you want to call it. Just saying. And years ago, I had an uncle that back in the 90s that used to, smoke marijuana and, and and I think and marijuana caused him to do heavy drugs and and not take care of his health and stuff and he he ended up dying at a young at a very young age he was only in his I think it was early 30s or late 20s is when he passed he died in in the year 2000 because I in a photo album one day I came across his um little funeral paper and so yeah about I want to say around in, in the year 2000, when my uncle had passed away, who smoked marijuana a lot, when he was a young, I don't know what year, age he was, he was diagnosed with diabetes, and, 
and he was always really skinny and had bad eyesight and he he got back in the day when he was in high school and stuff with the wrong crowd and he started smoking marijuana and 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 I think from what I understand I think he started out just smoking marijuana and then he turned to heavier drugs and stuff and and that's why I don't care to smoke marijuana because I didn't know that stuff because I looked at my family's history and I looked at his history on that and I was afraid to end up like him where I would end up doing weird heavy drugs and and mess up my life like he did because he had two kids and and they were quite young when he left them because you know, he was only and and he ended up I guess from my understanding is I don't know what all drugs he did I know he did marijuana because when he passed away my uncle my my um youngest uncle my mom's youngest brother was had to hurry up and get rid of the the marijuana plants before the um funeral home could come and pick up my uncle's body and stuff and they had to hurry up and get rid of them you know because at that time marijuana was illegal but but yeah and seeing my seeing my uncle go in the way he um he lived and stuff and i just because of him i choose not to do that stuff because i felt like i would end up in his situation and stuff and now I'm not against people smoking that stuff or doing that stuff you know it's their body let them do whatever the hell they want to it you know I'm one of those kind of people in a way just hey if you want to do that stuff cool go ahead smoke it up do it you know now when they voted it in when they had the election and to in our state to vote that in I did vote yes on that cause I looked at it, hey, people can do it anyway, so we might as well tax the living crap out of them and make some tax dollars off of them. Granted, even though our, a lot of our politicians, I probably don't do right with the tax dollars and stuff. I'm not going to get into all that, but yeah. But basically, that's, you know, we have one of those in, in a few bars and restaurants. We have two bar restaurant types. One's been in this town for over 30 years and, now, yeah, 30 years. It opened up in the 80s. The one bar called Joe's Place. And then the other one just recently opened up. And we have a Waco little, little pastry shop that's that just sells food. They don't serve alcohol in there. And, and it's a little restaurant where you can get what they call pastry. Which is just basically a, a kind of a um, UP... These pastry ideas came originally from the Upper Peninsula, the UP, as Michigans call it. Went and um, and these pastries are basically like a a a, a pot pie, a ch like a pot pie. You know, they're they're basically a a, a dough bread type thing, stuffed with meat and different vegetables and stuff. And but yeah, I'm just walking around enjoying. The, weather and stuff yeah we got this town again it's just you know i'm not i probably won't do maybe a, i might do a blog video about what we have in this town and maybe sometime more in-depth video about this town but so far this is just i'm just doing this little video trying to test out my actual talking blogging skills really and kind of give an update about the how the weather is and Basically, the weather is it's just in Michigan. One minute it's wet and rainy, snowy. Next minute it could be nice and sunny out where you're thinking, wow, are you going to be able to go swimming? Men up the lake or something, you know. And usually, usually around, around April, around March and April towards May is when we start getting kind of more into spring light weather it's February right now so around this time we kind of February and March is usually when we start kind of transitioning from winter to more of like a spring like weather you know it's and there's and it's windy out so don't be alarmed if you if I'm talking and just get a bunch of wind because I don't have a wind screen protector or anything like that 
so I'll try to put my hand kind of near try to do some walking but yeah yeah I'm just walking down the block and if you're curious about the small town I live in it's just a typical Michigan type small town there ain't a whole lot to do and it's one of those kind of towns as you as you blink a couple times you miss it you know blink once you miss it kind of town nothing too fancy if you're but yeah maybe sometime I might might if I have a better camera set up and, and better camera skills I might just do do maybe a vlog video about this town I don't know you know but one thing is I wish YouTube is the more I keep doing the more I realize how how fun it is and stuff you know, some people probably think I'm funny for thinking that doing doing this sort of stuff is quirky or whatever you know but again I don't care you know if people want to make fun of me for doing YouTube or whatever the case may be you know hell even if I make a ton of videos and trolls internet trolls get on there and they troll the videos I don't care you know hey the more views the more the more pocket change I'll have and some one old one one thing I always one kind of old saying I I came up with a, down for the years watching youtubers and and stuff like i watched some youtubers that got trolled really bad by internet trolls and and i learned about in reality internet trolls will make you famous they'll they will you know they'll bring you drama and if you pay attention to what the internet trolls post you know if you have any on your channel you know you're gonna oh god you're gonna feel kind of might feel upset about it you know but but if you look at the positive side of that internet troll, trolling you, harassing you, and attacking you and stuff, those people will, if you look at the positive, you know, look at what the, what the, the positive side, like, you know, the money-wise, you know, look at the money-wise, you know, you'll be like, wow, I made that much money all because some guy made that comment, blah, 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 you know, so, and those trolls don't realize that, if, if trolls, uh, to me, if internet trolls that troll YouTubers and TikTokers and all that, their goal is to try to hurt people, well, to me, if your goal is to try to hurt people, the best way you can hurt somebody is by not watching their videos or, or commenting on their stuff or anything, because they're going to be making money, so that's the way I look at it, you know. <clears throat> You know, that's the way I look at all these, like, internet trolls and stuff, you know, and is, is, they, they, they're, they're always commenting, and, and, but yet, and, 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 and it's guaranteed while they're commenting, the video is actually playing, and, and to me, if you're, if you're commenting and, and talking and all this stuff, and while the video is playing and that that YouTuber content creator, whatever you want to call them, um, photographer, whatever, you know, they're they're making they just made money off your ass and and if your goal is to control them, hurt them, to me your the best way to do it is simply don't watch their videos and don't comment on their stuff on the internet. That's how you're gonna hurt the content creators. Okay. Money spot. Yeah, I've walked by this house numerous of times. It's good to see somebody switching it up. Hour oh, 69. We have a garage sale at that house, and then the lady that was a friend of my house had it up for sale. And she's like, Yeah, that house needs a lot of work. So it's good to see somebody's got the money to fix her up and make her beautiful again. And the reason why I say that is because that will bring up the property value around this town. A lot of people don't know that in in the in the um, 
Well, when your neighbors fix up their properties and stuff, that actually affects the value of your home. So that house being fixed up is a good thing because all the houses around it will bring up their property values as well. Which is a good thing for the seller and kind of a bad thing, I guess you can say, for the buyer. That's just the way it is, that's boom hour. That's the way I look at it. You know, I have family members that own their own homes. Unfortunately, I don't own my own homes. And I'm kind of, right now, in my personal life, I, I'm, I, might, I might be ending up losing my, the current home I'm living in. But and I don't know what the fu future holds in store there in that respect. I had some issues coming up, but I, I don't know. Cause, well, the thing is about my situation is the people who are who own the home and church side, they're next to, they're getting kind of older and and they're and it's you know trying to maintain a church and house. It takes a lot of energy and and a lot of things, and so so where I currently live. I live in a part of stage house owned by a church and, and the head of the the couple that are head of the church are getting order and they're and the one son wants to kinda do away with the church I guess you can call it and and my goal is on that is if I can get this YouTube thing to work and, and make the money and the funding I would I would go to the whoever I had to go to and and because I would have to and, and say hey I want to buy that house in church and and I would make and I would love to do something there you know one of my goals would be of that church building that I made a video about would be simply open up like a a homeless, homeless soup kitchen in one part of it and then maybe add some some sort of like dormitory rooms or something for for missionaries you know maybe make like a, a housing place for for missionaries that you know that come to Michigan and want to visit families and stuff that's why that one video I did about the church I've been trying to get people to to share that video and and and, and share that video and, and and get it real popular and get subscribers because that's what I'm going to do. If I can make a buttload of money and can afford it, I'm going to slap down the cash. And go. But the thing is, is that church and property I live at is owned by the Bible Methodist organization. So if somebody wanted to get rid of that church and, and building, they would have to go to the, like the, the head of the organization, the, the head the guy the head of the Bible Methodist like the I guess you'd call it president or whatever I forget what his actual name title is uh, I can't remember Blake Jones is the guy I think it, it would be the fellow that was the head of the Bible Methodist so that would have to okay say yay or nay on selling or buying property blah 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 but whoever has to legally approve of it you know if I could I'd and had the money I'd buy that place it might take a couple years because the way you two works it might for me take a couple years but I'd love to have the money slap it down and and be able to make something amazing and then on top of that make something amazing there and then be able to to um, YouTube it you know and be able to make a YouTube video about it and, and get subscribers and and be able to film about it and say hey this is what's going on with this building and, and what we're doing with it and be able to film it and, and everything because I think it would be great to cause I think that's what this town is lacking something to like a, a, like a, at least a soup kitchen for the homeless and then and then like in that church I would again build a soup kitchen and kitchen kind of thing for a kitchen where you could have it set up to serve homeless people meals and 
whatever, you know, with their mules and stuff and that. And especially, because where I live, I don't live far from the, the local bus stop. And I thought that would be also a beneficial thing where have it set up, have a kitchen set up in there. And in the morning, figure out how to legally do it because I don't know all the laws on that stuff or how to get the proper legal permits and, and stuff like that to do something like that. But be able to fix up that building and make it nice again maybe add a second story to it some dormitories for for um missionaries put a kitchen in there because to serve meals to people in need and stuff and like in the mornings that's a bus stop down the road from me it's the actual what they call township hall and i would and the, they use the township hall parking lot as a bus stop and and if i could do what i want to do i'd add a kitchen and a little multi-purpose luncheonette room and in the morning serve breakfast and stuff and have it set up with the local school where in the middle of the winter the the children could 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 have a have a second like a second breakfast and and be able to stay warm while the bus while they're waiting for the bus to come and then maybe make it a nice and make it in the winter time like a little bus stop so the children don't gotta be out in the snow and maybe even in the spring and summer in the rain and stuff you know set it up where the kids could sit inside and then have it set up where like a teacher's aide or whatever comes down and kind of you know monitors the children and and a teacher staff member would come down and monitor the children and have it set up where all the bus would have to do is either radio to her or call her on a cell phone and say hey I'm here and then tell all the kids all right time to load up on the bus or whatever you know because even in the wintertime, most kids, you know, they got, we had some fridgy temperatures where if the kid wasn't bundled up nice and warm, he was going to freeze while waiting for the school bus. You know. And I remember as a kid as well, you know, I grew up, when I was at the young age that most of these kids are that wait for the school bus in town, because they, again, they used the township hall parking lot as a bus stop when I was growing up in my young elementary age I remember standing out in front of my out in front of my um <laughs> out in my driveway in, in, in the freezing cold waiting for a bus but the good thing for me was as though the way our I lived in a mobile home trailer and the way our property was set up you could easily see the bus coming down the hill so me I didn't have to stand out there for like five ten minutes you know like most kids I you know got the luxury where all I had to do was wait what maybe like 30 seconds at the most and I could hurry up and load up on the bus you know but yeah and then I, as a kid and then when I got older and moved into town here I I remember having to of course walk in this in the cold weather oh I could have because at the time when I was I was a freshman in high school and took me a while to get a driver's license because at the time when I was in high school my mother got really bad sick and was all kinds of medical problems and my father didn't have the time to show a young teenager how to drive because he was too busy focusing on trying to figure out when my mother was going to pass and, and all of her medical stuff which is understandable you know and even at that time I kind of didn't really give much thought about hey I'm going to have to learn how to drive you know I and so yeah but yeah that's and and that stuff too and and i'm just kind of rambling on here that's what i do i'll be talking about one thing and then go to another topic and stuff but but yeah and, and that would be an idea i would do with that church and stuff and that's why i'm so gun ho about trying to get all these subscribers and viewers on my channel but you know at the end of the day you also gotta make good content video content to get people to want to watch and stay you know you know that's the thing you got to make good content and and me i sometimes feel like i'm not not too good at making video contents like there's times where i'll where i'll make a video say oh i'll post it but it's not a very good video and then i'll come back and i'll get all kinds of views and i'll be like holy crap that was amazing and stuff so it can be interesting at times and, and 
but the thing is is I'm one of those people I'm a beginner learner at this whole YouTube thing and and I'm not very good at these video stuff and and I've been learning and, and, and it's and it's and it's a and it's a fun learning experience. Like I've been enjoying it a lot. Like I might get on camera like I'm doing right now and kinda of talk kind of negativity about it, but but I'm not like depressed like oh my god I can't make a good video for YouTube. No. Hell. I'm just one of those guys, you know, like uh oh, you know, I sat there and think about stuff like like for example, I, I made a product review video about about a sandwich, about the the fast bite cheeseburger. I had made one video and I was like, oh, I, and I kind of felt like that was kind of poopy, crappy. So I kept thinking I had two of the sandwiches. I think I was debating for the longest time, like I just delete the first video I made and. Because I, I, I had not uploaded the first video I made. I had this debate and whatnot. Should I really upload that one or just make a whole new one about that? And so I went with my gut feeling. Deleted the first video video I made. And then I made a whole new video. And then I uploaded that one. And, and I felt. And after watching it and actually uploading it. And I actually watched my own video. And... and Stuff I looked and I realized, you know, yep, that was a, a good, I thought it was a better video. Now, being that's just like a food snack vending, mach vending video, I know it's not, you know, doing a product review about kind of food and snacks like that. It, it, it's not going to be the greatest video in the world. But when it comes to product reviews, I think to me on YouTube, I think a lot of people will, you know, kind of are looking for YouTubers that can do videos about kind of rare unique foods and, and like rare kind of unique unique like products and stuff like for example that being just a basic old microwavable cheeseburger I can understand that not getting a whole, a necessarily a whole lot of reviews because a whole lot of views because you know it's not, in, in, in the end, you know, a cheeseburger is not too interesting, but, but the reason why I made the video and upload is, is, is for practice. It, it was a practice video, practice my review skills and stuff, so when later on, when I can get the money and the funding, and I do, do like fancier and way better stuff, I'll be, you know, a lot better at that, at the bigger stuff and the more, the more cooler stuff, I should say, then, and, and it would be beneficial, you know. Well, that building right there, that brick building, that, when my dad was in school, that was actually the middle school he went to back in the 70s, uh, 60s and 70s. That was owned by the school district, and and then in the 90s, I think it was, they sold that because that building right there is was part of the school system. But back when my dad went to school, because my dad was born in 1957, and he went to sixth grade there in middle school. But what happened is with that building, the school sold it because it, it was one of those things where the community outgrew it. Like the community got bigger, more people came to town, and, and so that building just just kind of was too small and it was really old and needed a lot of updates and repairs and stuff and, and i think they would have had to even put like an elevator in there because that's got a bunch of stairs for handicap and they probably, and that building was actually built back in the back in like the 40s or 50s i want to say you know because see when my dad went to school that building was the middle school, and before that, it was actually a high school. And then the school system community decided to build a whole new high school, and then they used that building as kind of like a middle school. And then where I actually went to middle school at as a kid, that middle school that I went to as a kid, that was when my dad was in school, was actually the elementary school. So. 
when the school decided to get rid of this building because the property's small and you can't you'd have to go you have to build upwards and instead of sideways and the old the middle the what used to be the elementary school when my dad went to school that had more space and more room so when they sold this the the original when they sold this they had built a new um elementary school at the time so because when my dad was in because before this building was a middle school it was a high school they they then the school, the school um, community decided to build a whole new high school so then when they built the new high school back I think it was like 69 is when they built the new high school and then they converted this to the middle school and then later on they decided well since the community is growing let's build a a new elementary school and so they built a new elementary school and then they just sold off this building because it was too small and needed all kinds of updating and it didn't benefit it made more sense back in the day to I guess build a um build a um like a new elementary school now they just add on to the buildings they have because where I went to middle school at that building was originally an elementary school and then they converted that to when they sold this place they needed a, a middle school so the the original old elementary school they converted into a, a middle school and now that building that I went to middle school with they ended up not needing that so they they shut that down and ended up making and sold that as well but but yeah, but again, basically on the whole church thing, if I can come up with uh, funding and money, I would talk to the, the head of the church and the people that own that, and, and I would buy that and love to buy that and, and make it something great, you know. And, but yeah, basically, this is just kind of what's supposed to be just a little kind of short video talking about the, the weather and then it how the weather changes and then it got into quite a bit of long rambling kind of blog video so but I'm still getting uploaded anyways for all you people to wait to hear me talk and hear a funny hear a hard of hearing guy you know talk funny you know funny talking man but but yeah that old building there was was when again when my dad went to school was was a middle school and then they when they just outgrew it basically they the school system decided to sell it and, and that's what they did and, and they sold that I think sometime in the 90s and I know it's when they um, built the in the 80s later 80s they built the elementary school and that I actually went that me and my brother went to and because because when my um when my brother back and my brother was born in 86 and when the when my small town built the elementary building it was only a only a couple years old and it was like new modern and then what they did was is um and then the actual actual elementary then the actual what used to be the elementary school they converted into a middle school when I was a kid so and and then they of course just down through the years add on and the reason why they got rid of that building is because it's simply the property itself is too small there's no room to add on to anything and and if you had if you did you'd have to build upwards you know and and building upwards is gonna take a lot of money and engineering and all that stuff and then you got to add elevators and and make it handicap accessible and that building would be just too hard to do and so then they um so that's why they got rid of that building basically and then the um and kept and then just converted the old elementary school into the middle school and just built a whole new elementary school and high school you know because you know the down through years the town grew and more and more people started coming to the town but yeah now I'm just back home here this is just 
I guess kind of a rambling on blog. I was originally going to just kind of talk about the weather, which, again, in Michigan, all our weather does is goes from, like, like, one minute it's snow, rainy mix, icy, bad weather around this time, and then it, like it is now, nice and clear out and stuff, you know. Oh, it looks like the sun is trying to kind of pop out a little bit. You know, it's about... Last time I checked, the weather was about 34 degrees out. I think it was 34, 35 degrees Fahrenheit. That's Fahrenheit, not Celsius, Fahrenheit. And I wouldn't know what that'd be in Celsius anyways. Which, So, to all you people that use the the metric system I, in, in Celsius, I do apologize. But, yeah. But anyways, you know, that's when it comes to kind of blogging again and blogging about this town it, it ain't really there ain't really a whole lot you can kind of talk about it's just you know you're a simple post typical small town america nothing fancy you know it's just like every other town they have a although this town just has a little dollar store you know for the kind of grocery things and then a couple of gas stations and a, and a few little restaurants and Nothing too great, you know. Oh, maybe someday I, if I get kind of more better at this blog, and I might do an actual blog video and show what this town has to offer in case anybody's wondering. But, but the one thing I, I will say this about this town, what I like is, is you're in between two big cities. Like, in Michigan, the capital is Lansing. Like, I can, in my town, it's... I'm not far from the, from the the city of Lansing. It's only about 30 miles at the most. About well, yeah, 30 miles, to, you know, to the Capitol building. And then there's another another city that I can. That's only 20 miles away, where I can just go to the big city. You know, in 20 miles, I'm in between two big cities: the uh, the capital of Lansing, and then Michigan's capital, Lansing, and and then another small city, and then also. What this town don't have, I can go to the next two big towns over, which the east, pointing this way, there's a town, and they have a Myers, a Walmart, and they have more options for food and all that stuff, and that's only 10 miles away. And then the next town over, they got a bunch of restaurants, food, and, and a Myers store, which is Walmart's competitor. And so, I'm in between two big towns that has a bunch of stuff, so... So that's one thing neat about my town is, is you actually have a lot of options. You know, if you like a small town setting and you don't want to, you know, you like small town settings and you don't really want to live in a small town that's like 40, 60 miles away from the nearest stores and, and more options, my town is actually a good setup because you only got what, if you travel 10 miles to to go to a burger king or mcdonald's wendy's culverts or you know a bunch of fast food restaurants runs or if you want to go to like a mall and and go to like um old jc pennies or or go to best buy or something you ain't gotta travel what 20 miles or if you want to go to the or if you want to visit your local st state capital you know and travel 30 miles and boom you're there you know and then we're not too far from the highway. I can, what, what, maybe what is it, like, from my house, like, only like two, three miles, I can travel, and boom, be on the highway and, and go places, so. So if you want to live in an area where you can, where you don't got to do a whole lot of traveling, and you still like small town settings, my, the town I live in is a very good town for that, you know, because. You know, and, and you don't got to worry about living in it. would be easy to travel back and forth to, um, you know, the city for the more fancier jobs and stuff. So, that's one thing that's beneficial about my town. But, well, this is getting to be a 40-minute blog video. And I don't think people are going to probably sit and watch the whole blog video. But, but, hey, if you watch, if you make it all the way to the end, you're a trooper. I thank you for that. But, but if you... Watch a little bit of it, and you just say, eh, that's kind of boring, and you don't decide to, um, 
watch the whole video, that's fine too. I'm not worried about, you know. Again, I'm just starting out on YouTube. I'm practicing my blogging skills. That's why I'm going to upload this video stuff. And I'm just practicing and, and seeing what I can do myself and challenge myself and stuff. So, yeah, if you like these sort of videos, you know, give this video a thumbs up. Then let me know that you actually like the video. Comment below your thoughts on this video. And, and I hope you all... Comment your thoughts on this video, and if you like my channel, feel free to subscribe, because again, I'm going to try to do all different kinds of product, different kinds of content and stuff, and you know, as money, the more money I get into my funding, I'm going to try to do all kinds of things. I even thought about, if you need to have the money to go travel some to some of the museums I have in the cities near me and stuff, and show off the, the Capitol building or maybe go travel, you know, and, and go different places, maybe like Las Vegas and do video about Las Vegas or whatever, you know, and, and travel to different places like Orlando, maybe Mickey Mouse and all that stuff, you know, I don't know, but, but yeah, if you like this sort of content, you know, feel free to subscribe to my channel, and again, thank you for watching, and hope you all have a good day.